So if you are just like me and you live in an area where it get hot around 10 o'clock, I mean, it's really hot and you haven't had any rain in a long time. So today we're going to do a video on what to do for your yard, how to keep your yard looking green. And also we're going to talk a little bit about, about simple lawn solution, liquid soil aeration. So we're going to be putting that down in the front yard and then we're going to come back a little later. We're going to do a little bit more to the front yard and trying to keep the yard healthy, give it what it needs without uh, over scratching the lawn and giving it what it needs in order to uh, survive in this drought and also survive in the heat. So let's get started. All right, guys, like I said before, in my area, it gets hot around 1030. So that's when the ground gets starting to get really heated. And with this particular product, with the Simple Lawn Solution uh, Liquid Soil Aeration, you want to put that down before 10 o'clock or after 3 o'clock. And I'm going to say after 4 o'clock, depending on where you are, uh, because it gets really hot and humid. And you don't want to put this down when it's hot and humid. So it's right now it's around 7 45 my time early in the morning i pre-treated my lawn already i did a 4 a.m watering for about 30 minutes to get the low, get the soil kind of loosened uh kind of wet so i can put this down because you definitely want to put it down on a hard uh surface as well so if you're if your uh, lawn is really dry try wetting it uh, before you putting this down get it kind of you know a little soaked but not so uh wet that it's soggy so you want to just damp it a little bit so this stuff can get down so um so I've already done that. I've already pre-treated my lawn this morning around 4.30. Uh, I watered it for about 30 minutes and it's still kind of a little wet. It's not as soaky as it, it probably would be. So I gave it some time to rest. So between that 4 and 7 a.m. Uh, time frame, I'm able to put this down. And let's look at what we're going to put down. And I did a video. If you guys want to check out some more videos, I did a video. And I'll put a link up there so you guys can check out this. I think I did two videos, maybe three, on this particular product. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So I got it here. Uh, it tells you right here that if you're going to be using a hose-in sprayer, you want to put in one ounce per thousand square feet. My front yard is just a little bit over a thousand square feet. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more to that. And it also tell you if you're gonna use a smart, a pump spray or this is what you need to do as well. So it also tell you if you're gonna use the ortho dial, like, well, no, it didn't say ortho dial, but if you're gonna use a pump spray or set the dial to one. I'm using the ortho dial uh, sprayer. So, and it got some more information on that. And again, if you guys wanna check out a more in-depth video, I'm, I got a video I'm gonna be posting up there so you guys can check that out. So we wanna get this down again before 10 o'clock uh, or after uh, four o'clock. Uh, those are my recommendations. And I think it says that somewhere on here as well. But again, um, let's, you wanna get that down as soon as you can before it get too hot. One other thing guys, if you're gonna be using the ortho sprayer, make sure you clean it out. As you can see, I've already got mine cleaned out over here. Uh, so you don't wanna mix too many chemicals with this. And we're gonna be adding this right here later on today. Uh, we're not gonna put both of them down right now because uh, we don't wanna get the yard too stressed out with the heat. Um, but this is where we're gonna be putting down right here. And I've been using this right here for about a month now. Um, and I've seen some great results from this. Uh, so again, uh, we're gonna put this down. Uh, later on today, we're gonna come back and do the second part of the video. All right, so we're gonna get this right here. Put, we're gonna get the Simple Lawn Solution gun put in into the ortho sprayer. And we're gonna show you guys what we're doing with that and we'll come back. All right guys, another, one, another thing about this, it says do not use on new seed, you wanna wait. If you're gonna seed your lawn, you wanna wait at least a month. I'm gonna say a month and a half before using this product. All right guys, so let's shake it first. Make sure we shake that up. I'm just eyeballing the ounce. I may pour a little bit more and that's okay. Pour just a little bit more. And again, I'm, I'm putting down just a little bit more and that's fine. I've also I've got two different type of grass in my yard and uh, this is my first time applying it this year. So if you want to pour a little bit more, that's fine. Just don't go too crazy with it. You know, just, just apply it. Just eyeball it if you don't have anything to put it down. I have something, just didn't grab it, being too lazy. But again, um, you can eyeball it. You can put a little bit more than what's recommended, but just don't go too crazy with it. 
All right, guys, so I added a little bit of water to it just to, you know, so it can break down through the sprayer. So when it comes out, it goes up here, to, you know, it, it all come out and it'll break down evenly. So, and I also got the dial set at one ounce. And another reason why I like these auto sprayers because you can set the dial. There are probably some other ones out there that you can do that with too, but I just like these. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is set your sprayer to the bird lips. I call it the bird lips, which is the flat sprayer. Uh, so you wanna do that. So let's get this put down. Another thing guys, make sure you have a good water hose because I've used some water hose in the past and um, if you don't have a good water hose, it's gonna really cause you to have a lot of issues. So uh, I'll put a link to this water hose that I got down at the bottom uh, in the description. And I also put a link to the ortho sprayer and put a link to everything else we're putting down in the uh, description below as well. So just wanna mention that. All right guys, so we're getting ready to get started and we're gonna, like always, we're gonna start with the edges first and we're gonna work our way in the middle. So make sure you set your dial to one ounce as it said in the bottle and let's get started. As you can see, it got that soapy look to it. And just remember, don't put this down if you see it in your lawn. You wanna wait at least a month. So I'm gonna So what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm gonna sit this down. We're gonna speed this video up. Can y'all see that? That's the little tiny soaps that come out of this. Uh, and it's gonna work its way down into the ground uh, and loosen up that soil so that air, water, and also plants can come up. But definitely for the air, the water, to help that plant dry throughout the, uh, the summer season. So you want those plants to thrive throughout the summer season, especially in this heat and drought, uh, if you're not getting a lot of rain like I am. So yeah, you can see all these little tiny bubbles and i got some question last year about can you use dish soap i'm pretty sure you can uh, but this is specialated for your yard so you're not gonna get the same results all right guys so that's it that's the front yard and we're gonna come back and i'm gonna do a separate video on uh exactly what i'm doing um, later on this evening for the front yard but um, don't forget to water your yard for at least 20 my minutes while putting this product in, uh, depending on how hot it is, but you definitely want to get it in before it gets hot outside. So again, it's right now, it's about eight something my time. So I'm putting it down and I'm getting ready to water the yard so that uh, this can work its way down and start doing what it do. So all right guys, peace. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to come back and check out the second part of the video. And uh, that's gonna be it. The second part may be a little bit shorter than the first part, because I wanna make sure I tell you guys exactly what I'm doing. But uh, as always, I'm gonna explain exactly what I'm doing in the second part of the video as well. So I'll see you guys later on. Peace, thanks for watching. Have a good one.